Disney Magic Bands have become an iconic part of a Walt Disney World vacation, and many of us have a hard time remembering a time before Magic Bands at Walt Disney World. But now we know that Disney has plans to start, maybe not phasing them out, but making them a little less iconic. It came as a bit of a surprise and shock to many of us to read the following on the Disney Parks blog. As you begin planning your upcoming visits, we're also exploring engaging ways for guests to use their mobile tech to experience the magic, particularly now as the use of phones and apps continues to evolve. In 2021, we plan to unveil an innovative new offering as part of the My Disney Experience app that will bring features of the Magic Band to your smart devices. Building on the app's existing digital key features. With with this new offering on the horizon, we will be retiring our complimentary Magic Band distribution to Disney Resort guests for new reservations with arrivals beginning, beginning January 1st, 2021. Disney Resort hotel guests will continue to have the option to purchase new Magic Bands at a discount and will be introducing even more colors and designs featuring favorite Disney characters in the future. Guests who prefer not to purchase a discounted Magic Band will be able to use the My Disney Experience app or key to the world card during their visit. We will still offer Magic Bands in retail locations and on shopdisney.com and guests will be able to continue using the wearables throughout Walt Disney World Resort. I gotta be honest, when I first read this, I was saying to myself, no, why, 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 no, but you know, you read deeper and you find out that you can still use your Magic Band. They're not, they're not taking away that capability, they're just no longer offering a complimentary one with your resort stay. Not my favorite decision, not. But knowing that you can still use your magic band, that's that's the part where I'm like, okay. Uh, okay, all right, we can we can kind of work with this. The bigger question here is, will magic bands be phased out completely in the future? The answer is probably, but very slowly. Now I say that, but by the time we get back to Walt Disney World, they will still be all over the parks. Most guests will have magic bands, so don't worry. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to take a long, long time for a complete phase out of magic bands. With that understood, what will the future of these new digital magic bands be at Walt Disney World when it comes to the entry and the resort? Believe it or not, this is not a new concept. The idea of using your smartphone as your resort room key. We actually tried it out, not not too long ago on an adventure, we were at Pop Century, it was late at night, I was trying to make my magic band work and it was not working and sure enough I used the app and it worked to unlock the door. The availability is still there right now, so it's really, really slow rollout here, but it really does come in handy when you need it. Now let's roll back here for a moment and think about more short-term changes that we're likely going to see at Walt Disney World. Thinking about getting into the parks for a moment, I think one thing that we can all agree upon is the fact that Disney's going to be phasing out the fingerprint scanner completely. Usually, you touch your magic band, then touch your finger to the fingerprint scanner, and you have that biometric security to get into the parks, making sure that someone else doesn't use your ticket or pass. Great, but the fingerprint scanner has got to go. We all know that you know it's part. It's a touch surface. A lot of guests touch it. It's not going to work in the sh in the long term or the short term. So eventually, Disney's going to phase this out, probably relatively soon. When Disney takes away this fingerprint scanner, they are going to have to replace it with something else. And many of us believe that it's going to be facial recognition. I tend to think that that is going to be the case. But how is that going to tie in with Magic Bands and Key to the World cards? Just the other day, I was talking about this exact topic with my friend Jack from DSNY News. Cast. Great channel, by the way, really great friend. And he was talking about how somehow this could be tied together with the Genie app that Disney has told us about in the past. For those who don't know, the Genie app is something that Disney has been working on for some time now. And the short version is it's going to be an app that basically takes your vacation planning and makes it much simpler. They do a lot of the planning and think about which parks you want to go to on which days and which attractions are the highest priority. And for many, we believe that it's also going to help with the fast pass distribution and possibly possibly, now that we see this, ticketing as well. Just imagine you have an app that can do it all. Maybe it'll be a standalone app, just Genie app, or maybe it'll be a part of My Disney Experience. We're not 100% sure about that yet, but imagine it can do it all. It does everything. I know many of us love to plan our own Disney vacation, and if you want to, Disney's definitely gonna keep that availability in there, no doubt. But there are a lot of guests who just prefer to take the, you know, take the app, say, you know what, Genie, you do it. You, you plan everything. Where am I dining? What reservation and fast pass do I have? They're gonna take care of everything 
for you. And I think for a lot of guests, this is gonna be a big positive. Now with the rollout of the new Genie app, there's no doubt that they're gonna wanna tie your ticket or annual pass to it, like my Disney experience, so that you know the automated system can get your fast pass for you, basically. I, I would imagine that's how it will go. And when this happens, you are able to say, okay, Genie, I have an annual pass, and these are my blackout dates, or I have platinum, I have no blackout dates, and you know this is my priority while I'm there on these set days. Imagine that it could take it a step further and verify that it's you who has that ticket or pass. Now, what do I mean by that? A thought that just came to me just the other day, imagine you go into the park and instead of taking a magic band and scanning it, you just kind of, you go through security, you, you walk in and you just have your phone. Your phone's right here in your hand, okay. And as you get closer, NFC or some Bluetooth connection, whatever it is, technology, connects with some system close to the main gate. And the main gate recognizes that, oh, there's Michael, his phone's getting close, let's go ahead and verify that he's here. You'll see something on the app appear, just in my imagination here, you touch it or you confirm, it scans your face with your phone, and then you go into the park. So it verified that it's you, it, okay, confirmed, and you just keep walking in. It's gonna be that simple. That's that's just from my imagination. I believe that this could lead to a future where we don't even really stop to walk in. We just we just kind of verify as we walk through and something turns green, you just keep on walking. You barely stop as you walk into the park. Perhaps that's the future, but there's a little bit of a glaring problem here. The reason why Disney has that fingerprint scanner is to confirm that it's indeed me who's using my pass. They have my fingerprint on file and they say, okay, that's Michael's fingerprint, it goes with his pass, let him in, they match up. Okay, great. If I was to use this new process, I could hold anyone's phone and walk on in. If, you know, basically my face was linked up to the face ID, as an example, in their phone. So this kind of presents a bit of an issue. Not only that, what if you don't have a smartphone or your smartphone died, the battery died, or maybe you don't have My Disney Experience installed correctly, whatever it is, just anything, Disney's not, not just gonna say at the gate, oh, you can't come in because you don't have My Disney Experience on your smartphone. They're not gonna say that. There's gotta be another solution. This is where I think Disney could really shine. They could take that face ID, like I was telling you, in your phone, and instead of having it verified through your phone, they have a series of cameras that are kind of up above you. You hardly see them. They're just, they're just up there. We don't even see them. And then as you walk in, they have their own system in place that verifies that it's your face walking in. In many ways, the concept stays the same. You walk in with your smartphone linked with My Disney Experience or your Magic Band or your annual pass card or your just standard day ticket. And as you walk in, you you know, the system can verify, okay, the, the code coming from the Magic Band or the card or the smartphone is indeed Michael. We see his face, looks good, that's him, and off I go. Just that simple with Disney's cameras. I like the idea of using your own phone's camera to verify your ID, because Face ID has become basically flawless, at least in my opinion, but the idea that it links with Disney's system with your Face ID, it just wouldn't work out. So I think Disney having their own cameras and their own system and just kind of verifying that it is indeed Michael walking in with my Magic Band is a green light. So when do I think all of these changes will take place? Disney mentioned 2021, so I think we'll see it next year at the parks rolled out in full. They're gonna work on it between now and then and make sure it is really, really good before they roll it out for all the guests, but I believe we could see a system like that by this time next year. So although the key to the world card idea and getting rid of magic bands as part of the complimentary package for resort hotels may feel like a throwback like paper fast passes at Walt Disney World, it may be Disney's way of kind of transitioning to a brand new form of entry and resort reservation kind of keys. This could be just a whole new technology rolled out in these plastic key to the world cards, some near field NFC connection where you're able to get in much quicker and much more efficiently. Those are my thoughts about magic bands in the future. Yes, it's true, we're gonna lose the complimentary ones at the resorts, but they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And I personally believe that even after this new system is in place, Disney's gonna maybe include wearables as just kind of a fashion statement. It works as your ticket and you can use it with that same near field connection. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this is the end of magic? Magic bands, or do you think this is just the beginning of something even greater? Love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.